Y'all not gonna even get the regular intro for this video. I'm gonna just let you know that right now, cause I was a fucking dumbass and I decided not to save before closing out the game last time. So I had to do all that shit all over again, but I mean, I was only like one or two days in game, so that's not that bad. There's also that fast forward feature that I got to use. So yeah, I haven't used it once yet in this playthrough because I don't feel like I don't have to. Actually, I have used it a few times, I think for like, uh, probably like for a shit that takes up like social stats or whatever. Anyways, and the last one or whatever, well, first we got that request about those burglar, uh, the burglars who were supposed to be in Shibuya or whatever. Uh, we opened up Yusuke's confidant and we got to talk with Oya, the reporter who we met around Madarame's shack or whatever. So in this part, we are going to, well, she's supposed to meet with uh, Mishima who thinks that, you know, it's a date and shit like that. Anyways, we're going to go to bed now. Cause we can't do no shit. Well, we could craft things. I don't need to craft shit though. So I'm just gonna go straight to bed. We do have a name though. We, and we know that the, the dude's name is Junior Kaneshiro. We just don't know exactly what his palace is. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Oh yeah, that's right. Ryuji got killed. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Ryuji got uh, taken off somewhere by these two cross-dressing men. That that did happen, and we left him in Shinjuku. <laughs> uh, and I mentioned how that was a controversial scene in the uh, the vanilla version of this game, for other reasons. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. See now, with this new change that's now canon or whatever, I kind of want to know. So, what did they have Ryuji wear? I'm actually real curious about what the fuck he had to wear. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. Well, we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. We'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Uh, what about a bank? I see. Sorry about that. Okay, that's a hit. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. He thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Nope, nothing that grand. Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. No, that's way too small. We ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? 
Smart thing in there, Yusuke. Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Mm. Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold An ATM. On. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. So in other words... That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. <laughs> yes, the entire fucking city. I have a hit. Huh? Oh wait, what? D did I say something right? Congratulations, Ryuji. I know you didn't mean to do it, but you got it right, Ryuji. The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is Yeah, the entire fucking city. All of Shibuya. I like how they gave him a little sprite change right there. Like <laughs> he looks so fucking serious right there. I mean, he did just say all of Shibuya, and it was the candidate that was found. I see. That's where you're gonna find all these people That's at. Certainly, where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. It'd be like that, bro. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Probably not. Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. That's actually crazy. You just equated us to pieces of trash, dog. In that case, let's go. Hold on. And here we are. Oh, we're already in our outfits. Oh, look, ATM machines. ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The district is affecting the whole of Shibuya. I mean to talk to her while Morgana was talking, but bro, this shirt is hot as fuck on me. God, leave this shirt is hot. I'm sitting here, right, in my room. It's like 1 a.m. on this recording, by the way, but um, I'm sitting here, and I just, you know, I put on this shirt because I want to take this picture for something. It was a little joke, jokey joke or whatever. And this shirt is like kind of thick-ish. It's kind of warm in this bitch, bro. Huh? What do you mean? I kind of got to use the bathroom too. I should have. I gotta wait after recording. Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kanashiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. It's got to be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. You know, what? I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to I should cut this out, but y'all know me. I don't edit shit. I'm gonna get up, use the bathroom real quick, shouldn't take too long, and then I'll keep it going. I'll read this stuff off. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Alright, so I'll be right back. I promise it won't be longer than 90 seconds.
All right. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I mean, sorry about that. Told you it wasn't going to take too long. But as I was sitting here, you know, I walked back here, um, it smelled like my sister was doing something in the kitchen or whatever. She was out there cooking. It smelled like burgers or something. It just smelled good. I had to let her know. I told her I was going to mention it in the recording. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's look at this uh, machine right here. Look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh, do you even have mouths? Or do these guys even have mouths? Uh, excuse me, can we? Ah, please, f forgive me. What happened, bro? Uh, I don't have any more. Please, I'll tell you. Not even one yet. Come on, man. Whoa, cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? That voice hurts my throat, but I'm gonna keep it doing it though. Eee! There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. This man posted Nyquil in the server, dog. Perhaps. Are those? No. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Well then, right, let's go back then. Well, you know that dude's fucked up. Uh. Wait. Oh look, do you think that person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me. Can we have a word? We are. It's no use. <laughs> it's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened, bro? Can't you tell? I've fallen. Fallen so far. From a place where Kata Shiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? Mm, what could that mean? Hey, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. Oh, that, that nigga just, just pass out? Uh, it doesn't look like this one's gonna say anything. Kata Shiro leaves no tracks. Does he mean that literally, or could it be figurative? Hey. Hey, why don't we get uh, go over all the Enzo we have now? Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second! They've fallen from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks? Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high up? Uh. What? You mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here. I don't think. Wait, what's that? Hold on. <laughs> Don't. Is that it? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless. Come on. Wow. Kind of the fuck? Bro? Shut it. I'm not some robot cat. I mean, I'm not a cat at all. This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Hmm. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay?
right. We should get out of here for now. Run for it! A message from Oya? What's she saying? Evening. It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. <laughs> you free? Um. Yeah. What's up? It's the nineteenth, right? It is indeed the nineteenth. All right. I have a a bit of advice for you. It's about that Kanashiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections. He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See ya. I'm gonna go drink some more. Leaving our justice isn't going to be easy. That girl has an iron lover. This with everyone tomorrow. That's my kind of woman, though. <laughs> And just when we find the palace, it's all the way up in the sky. What a pain. I'm sure the police are tired of this guy, too. Well then. That reminds me. The home shopping... Oh, okay, so this is the home shopping program. Well, we can't do anything today. Except, you know, if you want to improve your proficiency and shit. So we can just go to bed. Well go to bed. Oh, it's the sisters again. Thinking lately. Uh oh About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Oh, she said the daddy card. Technically, yeah, this girl has a this this girl has mommy and daddy issues. Now that I think about it. Sorry, I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. I said the last part, bro. Persona characters and dead parents name a better duo. It's okay. Keep going. Uh oh. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. Okay, so that's a, a legit question. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. Oh. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. Oh. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. This sounds like she's venting. This sounds exactly like she's venting. Would dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Yeah, she's definitely venting. This is something that that's just been on her mind or whatever. Yeah, this is uh, a typical defense mechanism. Displacement. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Yeah, Makoto ain't deserve all that. Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Yeah, I don't think she's realized that she's saying all this. Right now, you're useless to me. Jesus! You had to be so damn harsh on her, though. On Ray Mysterio Day 2 of all days at 619? All you do is eat away at my life. Like, god damn! Sorry, that was uncle. Yeah, she just came to her senses there. Really tired. Yeah, that's a, that's a bunch of stress. That's not. I don't think. Well, I mean, that's probably how she feels deep down or whatever. That shit came out bubbling. No Anderson Pack, bro. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Oh yeah, she feels real bad about that shit too. Uh, We're just gonna move on like that didn't happen. Bro, family do do shit like that, bro. You'll have, like, these big-ass arguments, like, or some shit like that that happens or whatever. And afterwards, you're just expected to just go back to normal or whatever. Like, nothing happened. Like, you didn't, we didn't just have this whole, like, disagreement, this whole argument about some other shit. That should be annoying for real, for real, too. Anyway, let me get back into the game. I've been seeing a lot of show on TV, or shows on TV, luckily, about these Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I just wonder... Why bother stealing hearts? You can't do anything with them. They have no monetary value either. 
If I were them, I would go for something like a concrete, clear value like gold. Speaking of, there's another kind of metal that's very valuable in its own way. They're called minor metals, and they're used in many electronics. In fact, most of you probably have some on your person right now. In your pockets, in your purses. Give me an answer. Why are you listening to Kamaki-san? Give me one example of something most of you have that contains minor metals. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady On is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. Hey, this doesn't look good. Wow, I don't know at all. Sorry, Rin, can you help me out? Something that uses minor metals, and all of us have something like that on us. Uh, right now, I've got lipstick, my smartphone, and mascara. What do you think, Ren? One of those has minor metals in it, right? Easy, your smartphone. My smartphone? Oh yeah, she says something about electronics, right? Okay, I'm finished. So the answer must be my smartphone. This is it. Correct. Precisely. A lot of minor metals are excavated in China. Some countries simply produce more than others. 90% of the minor metals used in Japan are imported. But a lot of the recyclable trash we throw away contains minor metals, too. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. Thanks. Ew, thanks for the help. Nice, going. nice, Lady On seems finally relieved, or seems really relieved. Nice. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. Do do do. We ain't got nothing. Nothing yet. You're right. Are we out of luck? It's no fair. His palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? Hey, what's up, Makoto? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. God damn! That word has been thrown around a lot in this part. Frank? Yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? Wow, I mean, I understand from their perspective, but fuck. <laughs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hmm. Something like that. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, wow. It's all piling on. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. She might be getting desperate. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I don't know about that one, dog. I didn't like her stern face. She didn't need to have a stern look on her face. Uh, what is up with her? Yeah, something's definitely up. There are way too many people here. <sighs> we're never gonna find her. Oh, we're gonna call. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? Idiot, what's she doing? Wow, she is going direct at it, like straight up, just direct. I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. 
I mean, that's like. <laughs> Central Street. She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? Ooh, she does not care, bro. He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in. That might be the first F bomb in this game, actually. Hey, wasn't that? It's the guys that messed with us the other day. Mm-hmm. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro, son. Tell him we got a good one. A good one. Where are we going? I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kaneshiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? Ah! We gotta go after them. She's out here singing a door song. Where are we going? <laughs> Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills will come in handy. Damn! Man, he acted like Ryuji had had brown skin in New York. Damn it, I said stop. Whoa, god damn, bro! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in. That nigga hit the brakes, bro. If his brakes sucked, you would have been gone. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. Here's this home movies looking ass motherfucker right here. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? Like, I'm not even joking about that. Hold on. So, uh, maybe if you're old enough, you remember whatever. Y'all know what you call it? Whatever. Um, what's his name? Was it Coach McGurk? That is his name? He reminds me so much of Coach McGurk from fucking, uh, from, from fucking home movies. And I don't know. I mean, it, just look at him. It's so amorphous it's ass nigga, bro. Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Need you, No, we're dealing with the Yakuza now. Oh, I get it. This is a nice ass room. I ain't gonna front though. This little lounge. You dumb shits. Like, don't just tell me that nigga don't look like. Or maybe he look like he could be an extra on like Aqua Teen Hunger Force or some shit, bro. It's the big homie. That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one. How much was it? About three million. Oh, you an airhead, aren't you? Oh, for real? Hey, that's not your thing. Uh, see, I would have said, oh, there it is again, or whatever. But no, that's not your thing. That is gimmick infringement. You are still Ryuji. Actually, let me not say that. Um, I'm not for violence against women. Actually, no. Go run her pockets real quick. You can do that. You don't have to beat her up. Just run her pockets. That's gimmick infringement or whatever. So you can take what's hers. Better thank those guys. She stole your shit, so you can steal your shit. Or her shit, then. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. He got a, this man has a big nigga voice, bro. Like, you know how you can hear somebody's voice and you know that's a big nigga, bro? <laughs> like, he has, that's mean on him. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. Bro, Loki, I wish we could just beat this Build-A-Bear looking ass nigga up, bro. So, good luck. 
What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? That doesn't really flow off the tongue, but uh. I got booze and six in the shot. Maybe some drugs too. Ah, oh, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I mean, uh, Ahn's family kind of ain't ain't here. Yeah, they're kind of overseas. I talked about that in the last part. I, maybe I did talk about that in the last part. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. Ryu just has his mom. Yusuke doesn't have any family. My family got rid of me because I'm on probation, so I don't have family either. I want to give you the usual mom, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. Well, some of them have dead mommies and daddies. I'm <coughs> caught up, but um, I, other ones though. Listen, nah, you know what? Let me not say that. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. He, unfortunately, the cat is correct in this instance. So they let her go. So now we gotta get 3 million yen for this nigga. Of course we're not gonna do that, though. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> for real. There you go. There it is. And now this video is demonetized because this song is playing. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke. I was so caught up in trying to be useful. And where did I get you? For the blame game. Done is done. No, I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. You were trying to do too much, though. You were trying to do. You did help us, like, find out, like, where Connoisseur was at and shit like that. But like at the same time. Well, actually, no. She helped out in a big way. My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. Oh, are you putting yourself down? A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child, so all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. Mm. And that's why you were so reckless. I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. Mm. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? That it is, Ryuji, that it is. It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Me? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. Oh, uh, so this is a direct apology to On. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> well, now On feels like a total jackass for what she was doing. People like me. Must really be what others call scum of the earth. Oh, you're not a piece of trash. That—that's not you. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. That is true. They would know. I mean, they would know it, but they would never say some shit like that because they know for a fact, you know, that they're a piece of trash. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. And you tried, but you tried though. Like, there was nothing really that you could do. It was a situation where you were powerless. So that's not your fault. Besides, 
Kamoshida's the one to blame. That's true. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Yeah, fuck that crimson chin ass nigga, bro. Takamaki san. He rotting in a prison cell right now. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? You know? Yeah, we can hear with that, that you know. We're more alike than you think, you and me. We won't let anyone fall victim again. If you heard that, I'm sorry about that. That was my uh, phone charger. It fell. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No, 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 no. So can do. We're all caught up in this. That is true. Yeah, see, we're in it now. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. Translation. Work with us a little bit. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji. Bank? Oh, right. The bank. Yeah, see, 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 see. They thought he was being dumb here, but no. I know he was, he was having his big mouth moment as usual, whatever. But listen, this is a smart thing, though. Bingo! Look at Ryuji twice in one video, dog. Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. That is true. I see. So in his cognition, the why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. Yeah, and if we're considered his customers, by him personally, then cognitively he should also see us as his customers, meaning we should be able to gain access to the bank. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Even more so. Look at see dog Ryuji. Look at you, dog. Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. That is also true. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. Uh, of course you don't. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. That's fair. Won't you come with us? Where are we going? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, sing that door song. Where are we going? Clap, clap, clap. The metaverse. Where are we going? Clap, clap, clap. clap. Where are we going? Ryuji. Beats me. On. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. Not you too. A canine? Canine? It's fox. Well, tell you, yeah, that would be scientifically incorrect. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. That is true. A monster cat? <laughs> Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice. Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. It is funny that we use change your heart and whatever, but like, it's cognition that we're changing, which has to do with the brain. I was about to talk about this whole ass conversation I had the other day with with the uh, with a friend or whatever we were talking about, you know. What? The fact that our brain, well, humans are kind of just like skin mechas. We're skin mechs or whatever, and our brain is like just controlling the shit or whatever. Like, who, what are we really? I don't want to get into an existential conversation here in this persona video. I don't mind talking like I am because I'm gonna end the part once we get up to a certain area. So, and I got time to do this. So, but that's not a conversation I want. Wait, wait. wait. Morgana, did you did you fall out? I'm just looking at him right now. He what the fuck? Or did he bend down? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted. No, what is he doing? What is what is he doing, bro? He's like legit doing the morph ball right now, like on some Metroid shit, bro. Another reality? Yeah, you can say that. It's floating in the air. This is reality? Uh, 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 kinda. 
You shocked? I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. So once, so now that she's actually seeing it, she's like, fuck it, I had to see it to believe it. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? What you know about the psychological bag right here? You, you dip it into your psychological bag. I like that. That's something we have no idea about. I thought you was trying to do something else. I, I, you trying to get into psychology here, Makoto? I see you. A criminal psychologist. I, I, I can see her doing that, actually. That may be like overriding their cognition. Yes, exactly. She's getting this shit like that, bro. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. No biracial. Ain't she more amazing than you? Whoa! Uh, Jesus, that was a dagger. That wasn't even a shot. He just took a dagger and he just stabbed that man right in the back. an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? Perhaps. For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Hmm. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? Yeah, it came down. Oh my god! That's just a blah like a tongue. Yeah, walk up that whole thing or it's like an escalator. I didn't see it moving, so I'm assuming it was like a staircase. Oh, there's the other bank or ATMs to get into banks during after hours. Um, you mean like ATMs and shit, right? I thought that I'd be able to get in since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of sure of source of revenue after all. Smart. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, yo, low key, this is this is like a mega ad for the for the squad though. Like, like she is like. Picking up on all of it. Wow, this place is huge. I mean, yeah, I mean. Oh, and you've seen the other palaces that we've been in, right? I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. It, it shouldn't be, bro. You've already done this twice. I mean, you've been in a museum. I'm pretty sure you don't go to museums that often, and I'm damn sure you don't go to castles that often. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. And isn't that not cool? You got that right. You're living the dream. Be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. I'm gonna let y'all know right here. When I was playing this game for the first time. I'm talking about the vanilla version of the game, of course. All the way back in the year 2017. When I was playing this game, right? It was at this moment where I was like, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly who the fuck I'm picking, bro. I knew exactly who I was picking. And, uh... <laughs> it's no surprise that for my first playthrough, when I was being loyal and not harrowing, yeah, I, I, I went for her damn near immediately. I mean... I'm not gonna spoil. I mean, well, I can spoil right now. You know what's gonna happen because you see the thumbnails of like this arc or whatever that I'm doing. There's a reason why that that that's the thumbnail. So I don't gotta say it because y'all just know it already. But yeah. 
defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. I kind of wish that we got to see something like that, if she possibly could. That would have been amazing. I'd just like to see her go up to Belphegor and just be like, flip! And flip that nigga over. Like a pancake. In the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. I'm surprised they didn't pick up on that just now. Like, huh? Come on, let's go. Well then, let's head inside. Oh, we're gonna do that in the next one because uh, this is gonna be a pretty long cutscene. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. Also, before we go in, I'm gonna let this song play a little bit. Let's do it. This is Price, by the way, the song I'm playing right now. Uh, I actually really do like this. I don't know what instrument it is. It's like a, a bagpipe or something electric, or I don't, I don't know exactly what the hell that is. Let me check something real quick while I'm here. I remember we still have Seth on us, which is crazy, but um, I wanted to see the party. Uh, we can keep this same party. That's fine. I'm always gonna have whoever, whoever you know, the dungeon's important to, whatever. They'll always be in my party. But yeah, we're gonna end things off here. Almost 50 minutes in. We're not exactly 50 minutes in. But yeah, I would like to thank everybody for watching this part too, my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between. I will catch you guys in the next one when we go into the bank. Deuce.